The signs are everywhere. We know the Arctic is changing, and now a new report from America's National Center for Atmospheric Research says the effect of global warming is so severe the region is actually shifting to a different climate. Open water and rain are becoming more typical of the region than ice and snow. Eric Sorensen explains the findings and what they mean for the future. The Arctic, a massive part of Canada's geography with a consequential impact on our climate, is changing rapidly. So quickly, a new study suggests the Arctic may already be transitioning to a new climate. Not perpetual ice, but more water and snow giving way to more rain. It means the past may no longer be a predictor because the climate may now be that different from the past. The Arctic has warmed so significantly that its year-to-year -year variability is moving outside the bounds of past fluctuations, signaling that it's transitioning to a new climate. Since the 1970s, satellites have been able to show us the Arctic ice cap melting somewhat every summer and then the ice cover increasing each winter. But over the last 40 years, NASA says the summer minimum, the red line, shows the sea ice gradually shrinking. Overall, Arctic sea ice has declined 12% per decade and the smallest 13 summers of ice have all occurred in the last 13 years. Bad. Greenpeace has been navigating the Arctic for decades, and they've seen the changes. I'll say like the permanent ice edge that exists, it's getting smaller and smaller every year. These are the waters off Baffin Island. 99% of Canadians do not live in the Arctic, so we're not seeing firsthand the open waters, the melting sea ice, and the loss of polar bear habitat. The new research uh, is yet another piece, important piece of evidence showing that it's really time we stop hitting the snooze button and wake up to the climate emergency. The signs are all there. Last month, a huge 113 square kilometer piece of Greenland's ancient ice sheet broke off, clearing the way for more ice loss into the sea. Greenpeace wants to create ocean sanctuaries, areas protected from oil drilling and pollution. And they want political leaders in this country and elsewhere to act now. We want to make sure that world leaders um, understand the urgency of the climate crisis and they understand the role of, the, of healthy oceans in tackling the climate crisis. There's no longer much debate that the Arctic climate is changing. The new research suggests what may be more difficult is forecasting just how quickly. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.